Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone who's subscribed to me recently um, and anyone who's left comments as well. It really, uh, really is appreciated. So big thumbs up to all of you. Um, this is a bit of a lost tour haul, this is. Um, I think probably about 90% of it is from a massive tour haul I had. Uh, and I found it in the other shed. So I thought I'd go through this one, see what's in it. Just looking through the spanner straight away, I've noticed there's a few interesting things here. Um, Yamaha one, that'll do for my little Yamaha 100, it's toolkit. Um, there's also, uh, it doesn't say who that's made by, this is H, HM possibly, um, but that's another toolkit type spanner, so that can go in as well. Uh, we've got a nice Jaguar spanner there. Uh, that's a little bit on the bent side, but I'm going to straighten that up, and I think that will go in for a display, but that's a definite keeper. Oh, uh, Genbro, made in England. Uh, I did have a Genbro um, adjustable spanner as well, so uh, I think maybe I'll keep that. Very nice. C spanner. May or may not keep that one. This unusual looking spanner. Almost looks as though it's been a bit homemade. The welds uh, don't look that professional on them, but quite like the look of it. Uh, it may come in useful for something once it's all tidied up. A Triumph C. Co. Limited. So, seeing as I've got a Triumph Bonneville, I'm definitely keeping that one as well. This one's an interesting little thing. Almost looks as though it's had a purpose, but it's. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to read that. It's Terry's Spanners, made in England, tempered steel. Let's see if I get it into the right light. Uh, that looks a bit better. Yeah, like the look of that, so I'll be keeping that as well. Uh, just a Brit tool there, one. Yeah, all right. King Dick. Half, half AF, I'll just about read that, and 7 16th. It's big old Bedford Vanadium. Yep. Very heavy duty one. No manufacturer's marks on that at all. May or may not keep that. Another one, this is actually a metric one, 24 and 27. And that is a Heiko. I'll keep that. And then we've got Super Slim. And that's a Whitworth, 7 16th and half. And then we've got a one that needs a cleanup. And that says Stubay or Stubai, S T U B A I. Try and get it in focus. Not sure whether you can see that. Never heard of those. So we'll see what else is in the box. So, yeah, we've got a nice assortment of files. Great big one. With nothing written on it. I do like that one though. That's a different keeper. And this one has got something written on it. Python. I think I've had another Python somewhere. That rings a vague bell. I'll have to look into that. Uh, that one is... Unreadable. Yep, that one's completely unreadable. Can't tell what that is. Uh, now I do have something very nice here. It's a snap-on. Nice little ratchet. Seems to be in good working order. So I'll definitely keep that. And talking of ratchets, uh, that's a brittle 
Seems to work, probably could do with a clean up on that one. May or may not keep that. A little punch by the looks of it. Maybe a broken screwdriver. Bit damaged. Don't think that's much of a keeper. Uh, nice old hammer. Probably do with just taking the head off that one and shaving the handle down and just refitting it back on. Seems sturdy and well, it's nice, it's a bit wobbly and it's been knocked in with nails. So I think that one's a project. And this, oh, this is another snap on. That is. Again, that's quite unreadable. So I think what I'll have to do is get a few of these on the wire wheel, clean them up a little bit, and see whether we've got anything uh, interesting. But yeah, that's an, another nice one. That'll go to my snap on collection, which makes about three snap on things. collection of pliers, uh, snips and um, cutters and that's a scribe by the looks of it. I'm missing a uh, missing a, a screw which I'll have to have a look see whether I've got any old uh, AF1s lying around I'm sure I have somewhere. Nice little salters Pocket balance scale should come up quite nicely. A small pair of croppers, again, probably be quite handy. Nice little tape measure, uh, which ironically says oil to prevent rust. So I think that might need a bit of a clean up. I might have to see whether I can do something with that because I, I quite like that. I think that would be. Quite a useful little tool that would. And last but not least, once I've cleaned all this away, a brass crocodile. Uh, possibly a nutcracker, maybe. But I like him, so I'm going to keep him, polishing him up, and uh, leave him in the shed somewhere, I think. And as you can see, my favourite ones uh, have had a bit of a tidy up. I'm particularly pleased with the way that the files have come out. Uh, this little spiral levels, really nice. Just says made in Britain. Um, but yeah, the snap-on's really good. I haven't bothered doing anything with that. Uh, the Jaguar and the Triumph spanners definitely keep us on that. But the main thing that is probably noticeable by its absence is the crocodile. Uh, I think that has got to be the, the icing on the cake for this one. Really, really like that. It's going to go in the shed somewhere. I think I'll find him somewhere permanent. Not entirely sure what it is. Maybe it's a nutcracker. Maybe it's not, but I think it looks great. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.